Hey everyone, welcome to another Easy Way tutorial. This video I'm going to be talking about how to do auto tune on GarageBand. So I'm going to choose the voice template. And I'm going to name my song file. Make sure that it's saved to the folder that I want it to be saved to. So music, good. Uh, and I'm just going to leave everything else the same. Okay, so when we choose the voice template in GarageBand, we automatically default get two uh, tracks, so male, female. Uh, and down here on the right, we have our recording options. So input source will be our sound card or the built-in microphone. And then we can control the recording level down here. Uh, so this is what we would do if we're going to record our voice for auto-tune. Uh, for the sake of my audience, I will not be singing. I'm going to be importing some already sung vocals that aren't me uh, so that you guys can hear what the auto-tune effect sounds like. Okay, so I've imported my audio tracks of the vocalist singing. Uh, so I'll just let you guys hear what the original sound sound like. Oh! Okay, so those are the two tracks that I'm going to be using. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is open up our audio editor. So down here is the scissor tool, so I'm just going to click that. So it opens up our audio editor. Um, so what we need to do is put the automatic tuning to 100% and click the limit to key. So what this is doing, GarageBand takes our initial project setting, so the, the original default setting is the key of C. And it's basically saying, I'm going to try and pull all the notes that I hear back to the key of C uh, as much as possible. So that's why you want it at 100% to get the maximum effect uh, and then limit to key. So that's all we're doing in the editor down here. So we can go ahead and close that. So I'm going to play these tracks back to you so you can hear what the new effect is doing. However, we're still going to be adding some more effects later. Okay, so you can hear some of it trying to come through, but uh, we're going to do a little bit more tweaking to get that to come through a lot more. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is go to the edit page. So over here are the effects that are being applied to the track right now. Uh, I know they're being applied because they're turned on by these green lights over here. Uh, so we're just going to make a couple more adjustments to get this sounding as good as possible. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is adjust the EQ setting. Um, so about 5 to 20k, I'm going to boost that up. Uh, and then I'm going to take away some of the low end bass uh, on the voice. So the next thing I'm going to add is called the vocal transformer. So what this is going to do is allow me to automate the pitch shifts uh, on the on the audio track here. And I'll show you guys that in a minute. Uh, but I need to have it on and in my effects rack over here so that I can automate it. And the other thing I'm going to add is a chorus. Uh, I don't need to open it up. I'm just going to put it on atmospheric. And then I'm just going to adjust the master echo. I'm going to put it about 15%. I'm just going to bring down the reverb just a little bit, maybe down to 25. Uh, okay, so now my effects are taken care of. Uh, so I'm going to go back. I'll let you guys hear the tracks once again. Okay, so now it's sounding a lot more like auto-tune. So the last thing I'm going to show is the pitch automation. So this is going to add a little bit more effect to the uh, vocal track. So I'm just hitting the drop-down menu. And instead of track volume, I'm going to go add automation. And because I've added the effect of the vocal transformer, it shows up in this list now. So I'm just going to drop that down, select pitch, select OK. So I still need to turn this on before I can adjust it. So now we have the line. 
So for this automation to work, you really don't need to affect it that much. I mean, it's up to you how much you want to affect it, uh, but it really does quite a bit just by adjusting it by very little numbers. So here's what it sounds like with the automation now in the pitch shift. So that's a pretty dramatic uh, change in, in pitch and in vocal, but uh, the automation is there so that you can fine tune how the vocal goes up and down, and really you can get as creative as you want with this. So start recording your voice and uh, have some fun. <laughs>